Dr. Kajimura, congratulations on this award. Thank you so much. Dr. Kajimura received the Outstanding Scientific Achievement Award for his work pioneering an entirely new field of bioenergetics. How does it feel to have your work recognized by the ADA? Oh, it's an incredible honor for me. And then also um, this recognition goes to many fellows, students, uh, staff, and, and uh, collaborators who work with me for over the years. So it means a lot to me. Wonderful, okay, so explain a little bit of your work in the field of bioenergetics. Okay, so bioenergetics, broadly speaking, is about how cells and tissues in our body make it energy, ATP, as well as many metabolites, and how they make it, or how they use it. Right? And then the question is like now, how such processes go wrong in disease, including obesity, insulin resistance, and diabetes. What impact do you see this work having when it comes to metabolic function? We study brown fat as a model. Brown fat is a very energetic tissue in our body that we initially started to understand, uh, fundamental understanding of brown fat with, without any implication in diabetes for a long time, uh, for the last 15 years. And then um, a long way, our work together with others um, show that, that the brown adipose tissue have a huge implication in preventing or regulating um, metabolic health, not only in rodents, but also in humans. So um, how exactly we work, why brown fat is good for you, there's so a lot of questions around that, and then that's the area that we've been working on for years. Looking down the road 30 years from now, what do you hope the impact will be of your work and your research on the treatment and prevention of diabetes? Yes, so the long-term goal for us is to develop a language, molecular language that describe bioenergetic defect. So um, it's been known for many years that uh, obesity, diabetes, metabolic disease is coupled with, associated with bioenergetic defect, energetic crisis. What does exactly mean at the molecular level? We still don't know that, right? So we hope to describe this at the molecular level and hopefully we can rewire or fix this process such that hopefully this will lead to either prevention or treatment of type 2 diabetes in the future. So the potential here is, could be endless. It's in this hope, and then and that's what this basic scientist is exciting about is how unpredictable the science can be. Right, early days, again, where our work was no implication whatsoever in the diabetes view, but after 15 years, this is where we are. So, what our goal as a basic scientist is to uncover new territories, and then one day, some of our discovery will lead to therapeutic implication or, or options, new options for treating certain diseases. Well, your work is absolutely revolutionary and this award very well deserved. We thank, thank you, you so for your time. Thank you. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.